Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Typically, I like to create lifestyle vlogs on this channel as well as beauty and fashion, but I am super passionate about social media. I could literally talk on and on and on about it. And you guys really seem to love my how I create my aesthetic TikTok vlogs little video that I did. And I thought it'd be really cool to just create a series on the channel where I talk all things content creation, social media, that kind of stuff. And in this week's video, I'm going to be talking about how to make money as a content creator. And I'm going to be sharing ways that I personally make money online. So I hope you guys enjoy this little video. And without further ado, let's get right on into it. I have all of my notes on my laptop right here. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Um, but I wanted to start off by saying there are a ton of other ways to make money online, like doing merch, courses, um, selling presets, if you have a popular Instagram page, there's a lot of different ways to make money, but I'm gonna kind of share more of the ways that I make my money. I'm gonna be sharing four ways um, that you could even start while you're a smaller channel, because I know a lot of people are probably just starting out um, or have a very small following like me. So the first thing is YouTube AdSense. And as I'm filming this right now, the requirement to be part of the YouTube partner program is you have to have a thousand subscribers and you have to have a total of 4,000 hours of watch time within a year. And that can seem like a lot. And I would say my biggest tip to if you're starting a new YouTube channel and you want to get those 4,000 hours of watch time is find a niche that's not super saturated. Lifestyle vlogs I feel like is great to jump into if you already have a following on like Instagram or TikTok so you can film those longer form vlogs but overall lifestyle niches are pretty freaking saturated another tip is to create content that is kind of like evergreen growth videos so like you can watch these videos at any point in life in time it's not necessarily season specific because you're gonna notice that when that season hits that video might rank and might perform a lot better so you kind of want to start creating content that you can watch at any time if that makes sense for me my example is online school videos. I shared my journey on online school and I did a story time about online school and that video has blown up and obviously with everyone doing online school now people are watching that video more than ever now so anyone that is doing online school is going to see that video because it is just booming but that kind of content is still making me money and it's still gaining views and subscribers so definitely start creating content very early on that's gonna last a lifetime now if YouTube is not your route I know that Instagram and TikTok have a creator fund. Personally, I am not part of those. My accounts are a little bit smaller on TikTok and on Instagram, I'm not signed up for the real bonuses, but you can create content and make money. Very, very little money on there, but it's still a passive income. TikTok, I believe, pays per view and maybe Instagram too. I know Instagram real bonuses just kind of like started rolling out, so I'm not 100% sure of what the metrics are for that. Um, but I believe there is like an $800 per month cap. So definitely look into that. I know that is talked about all over TikTok. A lot of TikTok strategists talk about the creator fund. Is it worth hopping on? Is it not? Um, but those are definitely views based and it does make you a little bit of money. The next one that I've seen become super, super popular, even for people who are not exactly influencers, is using affiliate marketing. So basically what affiliate marketing is, is you are linking a product and you're sharing that link out to your friends, family, viewers, whoever, and whoever clicks on that link and buys a product from that link, it could either be that exact product or a different product on the same website. As long as they use that link and they purchase something, you get a small commission out of it whether that's like one to 20% commission. I definitely have noticed a huge increase with joining Like to Know It. I'm not 100% sure if they still have a follower base requirement, but back in the day, it used to be really hard to get on. Now I feel like everyone has Like to Know It. So I definitely would research that, but using affiliate links, especially if you're on YouTube, you can link your camera equipment down below in every single one of my videos. My camera equipment is always linked. So I would definitely 
link the equipment that you use, anything you mentioned in that video. I know for beauty gurus, if they're wearing makeup throughout their video, they'll just link the makeup that they're using. Hauls are like huge money makers um, with that kind of stuff because you're showing clothing, you're trying on new clothes, and you're linking it below. And if people are interested in that clothing item, then they could just purchase it right there. It's so convenient. I know Magic Links this is another one that I was a part of for a while, but honestly, the like to know it commission is a lot better than Magic Links. I think I made like six dollars off of Magic Links with like the couple years that I like worked with them, and then since joining like to know it this year, I've made over a hundred dollars. So commission's obviously a lot better. Another one that's super super common is Amazon storefront. So you can sign up to be an Amazon influencer, and you can have your own storefront. So you can go and create different little categories for like your hair, your tech that you like to use, your favorite clothing items, and you can share that and create content around your Amazon items on TikTok. I'm sure if you have used TikTok, you've seen these kind of videos before where they're like, you need the skirt from Amazon or you need the skincare tool or wish list items even. You don't even have to buy the product. You can just say this is my wish list and then link it to your storefront in case someone actually is going to buy it. Then you make a little commission and probably enough to actually buy the item just by promoting it. And then you can get really, really nerdy with this and you can track your analytics with your affiliates and you can actually reach out to the stores that you've made the most commission in and probably score a partnership. But that's a whole different video. So I would definitely look into signing up for Like to Know It, Amazon Influencers, or if you're just starting out and you don't fit the requirements for Like to Know It, if you're like a smaller channel, I would definitely look into Magic Links. Cause though it doesn't give you a lot of commission, um, it's better acceptance rate and you're still gonna make some kind of money on there, so I highly recommend that. The last tactic I'm gonna be talking to you about is content creation and brand partnerships. This is like the easiest way to make money is just reaching out to brands and wanting to collab with them, whether you're going to promote your product on social media or you're just going to create content for them. Now I do both. I promote products on my Instagram, on my TikTok, and Pinterest, like any kind of social media platform. I will promote product in exchange for free product or you know, a paid campaign. Or if you don't have a bigger following but you want to work with brands, you can reach out and ask to create content for them to use on their social media platforms, their ads, email campaigns, whatever. You can have a set price for those kind of deliverables and they send you the product, you get paid and you create content and it's amazing. Personally, I'm working with a brand um, making content for their TikTok five times a week. So what I do is I batch create the content every week. I put together trending sounds and captions and hashtags and I create content for them and I don't have to promote it on my social media. I just create it exclusively for them. Honestly, my biggest suggestion is to start creating content with products you already have at your house, whether that's clothing, nail polish, skincare, literally anything you can create amazing content for. So when you're reaching out to these brands, then you kind of have like a small portfolio of content that you've created that they can kind of like catch the vibe and know what to expect from you. And as far as being a influencer wanting to work with brands, I would definitely work with brands that you absolutely love and you know, talk about how much you love their product or how much you can relate to their brand and why you want to work with them. Definitely having authentic relationships is definitely key because it helps with future campaigns and you know, that company might be a sister company to another company you might like. So it could be a whole thing. You definitely want to be authentic with the brands that you're working with. And if you want a video on how to reach out to brands via email, DM, how to build a media kit, how I made my media kit, definitely let me know in the comments below because I can totally add that to the series of videos about content creation and social media. So that's how I personally make my money being a content creator slash influencer. But again, there are many different ways you can make money as a content creator. You can sell presets for Instagram photos. You can make a course about social media 
or photography or anything you're really passionate about. You can make merch or different lines of products. Honestly, the opportunities are endless on social media and I hope this sparked some inspiration or some new ideas on how to get started as a creator. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions for this new series and don't forget to follow my social medias down below. If you want to see my everyday life, follow me on there. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!